So, Kingsman is a spy movie. Um, what do you think has been lacking from recent films in that genre that makes Kingsman so different? Fun, probably. I think um, once Bourne came along, which was, you know, just high octane stuff of which, uh, you know, pe people seem to enjoy that and there's no reason why they shouldn't. I think the humour got slightly elbowed from spy movies, which had always been part of it, really. If you think of The Man from Uncle or Bond, you know, there was always a sort of element, a wry element of humour. I don't know why, but that was just the case. And then they became much more uh, physical, militaristic, you know. Um, and I think what Kingsman's done is brought back a little bit of the humour to that genre. Excellent. And, and what does um, Matthew Vaughan bring to that as well, obviously, with his, um, with his talents? Well, you know, he has a great ability to understand what people enjoy in a film. And he always makes films that are nothing less than great fun when you go to the cinema to see them. Um, that's obviously important to him. And, you know, the humour that he's bringing to these films means he obviously has that... That's what he misses too, you know, he's missing that sense of humour. Excellent, and you're making a comedy next as well in, in Grimsby. Um, can you tell us a bit about that and what sort of sense of humour is that? <laughs> well, you know, Sasha Baron Cohen's work, you know, that kind of humour is... Uh, like a laser beam that is going to literally find everything and offend everyone and it's it's hysterical i have to say making it was um a real trip because there's a lot of improvisation um but there are some sequences in there which will raise a few eyebrows excellent is that big change for you obviously from doing stuff on stage that, as you're doing at the moment as well and some of the films you've done in the past is that a big change for you yeah it was completely different kind of genre movie um i'd never really done much comedy. I'd certainly never done any improvised comedy, uh, but it was a real trip. I loved it, and I have to say I really enjoyed Sasha's company, and it was, it was, uh, it was really hard work at the same time, but I think the rewards are going to be worth it. Listen, it's just been announced that you're going to be doing a, a, another military-based film, um, Jadaville, yeah. um, with Jamie Dornan. Can you tell us a bit about that one? It's based on an incident that happened in the Congo in the 60s. It's a little known incident. And it's interesting to me that actually there's a lot of films being made at the moment about real incidences. You look at a lot of the Oscar nominees, Theory of Everything, Imitation Game, Still Alice, all based on real events. I think there's a, a, a phase at the moment of real life stories getting made and I think this is another one of them but the actual incident is very interesting there was a, a period in the Congo when uh, Lumumba the, the Prime Minister was was uh, got rid of and uh, somebody threatened to secede Katanga from the Congo with all its mining and mineral rights and essentially the UN the embryo UN at that stage sent in a military force and it all kicked off I think these days UN forces tend to be much more hands-off but back then it was pretty there's only well, 15 years after the war, Second World War, the militaristic presence meant that um, uh, it just, it was all too much and, and the, it, it all kicked off. Jamie plays Pat Quinlan, who's a real uh, Irishman who, who led those UN troops. And I play a character called Conor Cruz O'Brien, who was the politician who was in charge of everything. Excellent. And just bringing it back to Kingsman, finally, um, it, it's set up for a sequel. Obviously, you could potentially return. Is that something you'd be interested in? And where do you see your character Merlin going? I'm always interested in working with Matthew. I've worked with him a few times now, and it's always been great fun. And it would be great to take it further. I mean, at the end of this Kingsman, we shot a scene where Merlin became Arthur. So I had the suit, the glasses, and I was sitting at the table in Michael Caine's seat. And they didn't use that sequence because they didn't want to round it off that way. They wanted to go a different way with the ending. So there's a possibility he could become Arthur. That would be interesting. But actually, I'd probably prefer it if he stayed Merlin and that he and Eggsy had further adventures. But, you know, it's all in Matthew's head at the moment. Excellent. And it is a great relationship between the two of you on screen, so I think I'd like to see that as well. It worked really well. I got on with Tehran and uh, it was surprising to me that we clicked in the way that we did. So I'd forgotten, really, that uh, Colin was, was killed quite early. And actually, we end up saving the world. So if we've done it once, I'm sure we can do it again. Excellent. I'm sure you can as well. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.